Hello and welcome to the Artist Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode we will create several different enhancements. First of all, I wanna create a research which increases an AOE radius of Warlock's Curse of Weakness ability. Go to the Ability Subsystem slash Blueprints slash Building Processes slash Enhancements folder, create and open a new child blueprint of the Enhancement ability. Here we should set Ability Enhancements and it should be predefined change AOE radius enhancement. Let's see how it works. Every ability enhancement must be a child blueprint of the ability enhancement class. Here all you should do is to overwrite enhance ability function. It has ability info and combat constants as input values and the same structures as output values. You can do whatever you want with these values. For example, I can break combat constant structure change base damage or base healing, set the structure's member and return it. In this situation, we get AOE radius and multiply it by custom constant from enhancement constants array. Therefore, we must have a custom constant. So open ability subsystem slash data slash custom constants data table and add a new row with curse of weakness AOE multiplier. I'll set that value to 2 because I want to double my AOE radius. Then open our new research and specify ability to enhance, it must be Curse of Weakness ability. And also ability constant ID, it must be custom constants ID we just created. Don't forget to set an ID. Finally, add a new research to the abilities data table and also to the treasure house abilities list. Let's test it. As you can see, after the research is completed, every radius increases. Now I want to create a general enhancement, which increases Fog of War reveal area for all buildings when research is completed. Create another child blueprint of enhancement ability. But now we should work with general enhancement category. Go to the enhancement subsystem slash blueprints folder and create a new child blueprint of the enhancement class. Here you should overwrite apply effect. I wanna get all actor of base artist building class and then in a for loop check if it is a building of players faction. And if it is, I wanna get vision sphere of that building and change its radius by multiplying it. We also need another custom constant, so open custom constants data table and add a new row. I'll set its value to 1.5. Now open your research blueprint and specify general enhancement class and constants ID. Specify an ID for the research itself. And finally, open Abilities data table, add and fill a new row for the research. Also, add that research to the Treasure House abilities using Actors Abilities data table. Now we can test it. After the research is completed, the reveal radius increases. It works also with the buildings player will create during the game. Actually, we could achieve the same effect if we created an ability enhancement, but I just wanted to show you how general enhancements work. And now I want to create something really cool. RTS Toolkit provides a possibility to change the behavior of any ability in runtime. I wanna create a research which replaces Warlock's Curse of Weakness slow effect by Ignite effect. First of all, let's create a child blueprint of the enhancement ability. Now go to the enhancement subsystem slash blueprints and create a new child of the effect enhancement class. Here we should overwrite enhance effect function. But there is a bug in the current version of the Unreal Engine and the function without return value appears as an event in a child blueprint. So open effect enhancement itself 
and add any return value to the enhance effect function. Then open its child blueprint and override that function. Now it appears as a function. Open again enhance effect blueprint and remove return value. Finally open again its child and all should work fine. Here we should clear all the effect classes array and add an ignite effect. Also we can clear effects ID array. After that open your research blueprint and add created effect enhancement child to the ability enhancement array and specify ability to enhance. Finally set an ID for the research, add and fill a new row of the abilities data table and also add new research to the treasure house abilities list. Let's test it. We can see slowing damage effects before the research. And ignite effect after. In the next episode, we will create a new playable faction. See you next time.